over here we got the beans and if we pan around behind it we've got some LC mix and some oats backside's got some clover but back to the beans October the 8th, here by the soybeans were no-tilled into sod. Hopefully I'm getting this for you guys. What I wanted to kind of address though, if we can see it. Are the soybeans themselves. As you can see, it's got some decent pods on there. A decent root system. There are nodules. You can see them. So we was getting pretty good, pretty good deer food there. Okay, out here in the middle, I found this strip that I missed with herbicides. And since they were Roundup Ready beans, it was it was 41% glyphosate. As you can tell, there are some beans planted in there. That's why it's important to practice good weed control. Both sides we got beans. Good. But in the center we've got a very few beans mixed in. But the grass has pretty much done what it does and just took them over. These are the beans planted at the 65 pounds to the acre, approximately 65. As you can see, we got real good control of the grass that was in here. Okay, on this side of the bean field, bean plot, beans were planted at 50 pounds to the acre. As you can see, there's a little more space between them. There's about the same bean production on each stock. There's not a real measurable difference, just in appearance. We're looking at them, but they are thinner. Canopied out, so we did still get good weed control over here. but they are thinner. <laughs> 